Hello everyone, today's video shows a beautiful ride through Yellowstone National Park. Our video was shot just two days before the unprecedented flooding, not only in Yellowstone, but in the surrounding areas. Our heart goes out to those who have been displaced by the flood, as well as those who had suffered great property loss. But we know that Yellowstone will once again be reopened sometime in the future. And those who have been personally affected will recover because that's what we do. So it's in that spirit that we share with you this video. God bless. Today, we ride in the first national park ever created in the United States. For this, is Yellowstone. It's larger than Rhode Island and Delaware combined. We'll only scratch the surface of its 2.2 million acres and a fraction of its 466 miles of road. This ride has been on my list for many years and it happens today. I hope you'll join us as we ride Yellowstone. Our visit today happens to coincide with Yellowstone's 150th anniversary, established in 1872 by Congress and President Grant. And if you visit during the spring and summer, expect some delays. This is a popular place, and obviously I'm not the only one excited about visiting. For non-annual pass holders, the entrance fee is $35 for an automobile, $30 for a motorcycle, and the passes are good for seven days. And those two beautiful road glides up ahead, that's Andy and Bell of Bell's Rides. And shortly after entering the park, we hit a long traffic jam. My guess is a wildlife sighting, which is pretty common in national and state parks. But hey, no rush. Man, I've waited for years to see this piece of America. We just took the time to embrace some of Yellowstone's 3,400 square miles with its flowing rivers and mountains that appear to be touching the beautiful blue sky. But it wasn't long before the bikes were humming through the trees and the hillsides. Hiding in the trees is the first sighting of a bison. But often they're along the roadside where we use extreme caution. And at times, they're in the roadway, as Clay and I found out the next day when we visited the park in the car. Hey buddy, you know where I can find any bison? Any bison around here? <laughs> Some will be alone. Hey guy. While other times, they'll be in herds. Regardless, what a beautiful sight. Bison aren't the only encounter you may have because that is a black bear who just crossed the street in front of us. All manner of wildlife call Yellowstone home with its 65 species of mammals. Hey, you never know what you might see in this remarkable place. We approach Gibbons Falls, which is one of 290 waterfalls in Yellowstone. But, well, the parking was full, so we just enjoyed some more riding. That 
is our first site of thermal activity where hot steam flows from under the Earth's surface. And more on that in just a moment. simply blown away with the enormous size of this park. It's so large, its property lines cross into three states, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. And after miles of beautiful riding, we entered the Norse Geyser Basin. And parking here too was a premium. We found a place, but I'd recommend that you park in the overflow parking, which is a little distance away, and I'll explain why in just a moment. The Norse Geyser Basin is the hottest, oldest, and most dynamic of Yellowstone's thermal areas. We took the tour around the Back Basin, which is a 1.6 mile loop, and here are where many of the 300 active geysers are located. The tour takes place for the most part, by boardwalk. That's due to the dangerous thermal ground beneath us. In fact, you'll see several signs that warn you of the dangerous surface below. In thermal areas, the ground may only be a thin crust above boiling hot springs or scalding mud. And hey, after reading that, no problem, I'm staying on the boardwalk. While Yellowstone's beautiful hot springs look inviting, don't be fooled. Most of the water here is at or above boiling level, which at this elevation is 199 degrees and very acidic, not suitable for humans. I've read that 22 people have perished in these thermal grounds, most recently in 2016, and due to the acidity of the water, no remains were recovered. So by all means, stay on the path. We could feel the heat from the steam as we walked through this geological gold mine. The highest temperature recorded in any geothermal area in Yellowstone was measured in here with a temperature of 459 degrees at just over a thousand feet below the surface. And at one time, they even measured the Earth's surface at 203 degrees in this area. And for the reasons I do not yet know, some of the geysers, well, they were muddy. And that is one of the steam vents here in the basin. And the heat it radiates, even from this distance, is incredible. You can only imagine how hot it is down below. And that is the impressive Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser. Its major eruptions shoot water more than 300 feet in the air. And hey, this isn't a major eruption. 
According to the sign, that occurred about two weeks before we arrived. But even during this minor eruption, it sounds like a steam locomotive. You recall earlier when I said I'd recommend you parking in the overflow area when you visit the basin? It's due to that cloud and spray right there. It contains dissolved minerals, which can damage your paint and glass. And as you can see, our bikes were covered in it. Thankfully, after washing and waxing, we were able to remove the minerals. Some of the loop did include sections where you could actually walk on the ground. And speaking of geysers, none are more famous than Old Faithful, which has a small complex built around it. And well, about every 90 minutes or so, it erupts. And today, we have a 2,400 pound bison standing guard over the festivities. And right on schedule, which is where it got its name, it erupts. These eruptions last anywhere between one and a half to five minutes. And if you visit, you can check the schedule so you won't miss it. We spent a total of two days in the park, and as I said in the beginning, we only scratched the surface. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Until then, be well and stay safe.